Hello and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today we are going to be going through an as your standard haul. I'm going to be showing you what I got and also a separate haul of grow lights that I got this week because we are going to be using those for seed starting and I wanted to show you what I got. As your standard is an online store, so think grocery store, but so much more. You can get deodorant, supplements, you can even get seeds on there. It's really great. What I love about them is that you can get foods in bulk at a good deal, quality, organic, really great stuff. And they do a drop point once a month. So somewhere in your area, the Azure truck will come, do a big drop off with crates. You get to meet your community because other people are ordering. It's been really a neat thing that I have loved to be a part of. I haven't ordered from there in a while just because during summer I have so much produce and then during winter I'm putting up all of my food. So I haven't really done anything from them in a while. So this is my first one this year. It's not super crazy, but it has some fun items in it that I want to show you. One thing that I love to get from Azure Standard is this cream cheese. It comes in a big block. I got two blocks and then I just put them in the freezer. And then whenever I need cream cheese for a recipe, I will get out what I need and let it thaw but I really enjoy this cream cheese. It's thick, it's flavorful. The ingredients are just pasteurized cultured milk and cream, uh, salt and the stabilizers. I really love this cream cheese. I've gotten it before, it lasts me quite a while. And the fact that you can freeze it, that is why I buy it in bulk. Would recommend this cream cheese or to check it out if you want some more options on your cream cheese. The next thing I got were these little shampoo bars. I got four of them. So instead of using traditional shampoo that you get at the store that is filled with like sulfates and chemicals, I just haven't been comfortable using that on my skin in a while, especially like your head and you have your follicles. So all those chemicals just being absorbed just gives me the ick. So I really love this shampoo bar. Each bar is hand cut, so no two bars are exact, exactly like. Good for permed or colored hair and naturally curly hair. It has olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, and essential oils. That's it. And I have used this before. And if you're worried or thinking that it might leave your hair greasy, it doesn't. It actually makes your hair clarified. Absolutely love this. Like. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This was out of stock for a while on their website, so I couldn't get it. That's why I ordered four. It says no synthetic oils, no chemical concoctions, no plastic bottles, no detergents. This shampoo doesn't strip the natural oils from your hair, so most will not need to condition. So the traditional shampoos that you get from the store, they do strip your natural oils. That's why you have to condition to make it soft again. This has been a lifesaver, especially for my hair health. If you guys are thinking about it, check out shampoo bars. You can even DIY these, but these smell so good and I've really loved the quality of these. Cannot say enough about these shampoo bars. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I bought cloves in whole in bulk. What I do with cloves is I make a mist. So I soak cloves in water and then after they have hydrated and diffused into the water, I then put in some calendula oil and some other essential oils and then I use it as a mist. And it has been so refreshing and rejuvenating for my skin. And recently, I think there might have been something that went viral with cloves on TikTok. I don't know if it was that exactly. It might have been. My mom's the one who started making this for me and telling me about it but you couldn't get cloves at the grocery store. Also during pickling season, it's hard to get cloves, so that's why I got these from Azure Standard. Again, I really love Azure's quality on their products, so I'm happy to buy seasonings and things like cloves and bulk from there, so I can continue to make my mist. I absolutely love it. It has been so rejuvenating and helping my skin be vibrant. Also, I use whole cloves for when I make baklava, but that's really it in my kitchen. I use ground cloves for smoothies and other dishes, but the whole cloves are just gonna be for making my clove mist. I got two kinds of molasses, old-fashioned molasses and blackstrap molasses. 
I wanted to have both on hand. I've never tried the black strap. So Old Fashioned is a sweeter molasses. It isn't boiled as long as black strap molasses. So this is not as sweet. So this can be added to like coffees as like a mild sweetener or drinks or even just thrown into a recipe. Whereas Old Fashioned Molasses can be used to make things like brown sugar and when a recipe calls for molasses, it is calling for the Old Fashioned Molasses. But I wanted to get both because I just wanted to try the difference. That's just how I am. I wanted to just, you know, see for myself what I like better, what's gonna be better for my recipes. And I wanna start making brown sugar from scratch. So easy, you literally just combine sugar and molasses and then you get brown sugar. One thing that I was bummed about is these didn't come in glass bottles. Like the one that has the yellow label, it's like grandma's molasses. That comes in a glass bottle, which I really love. I just love the look and feel of it. What I love about this too is it says, it is certified organic. You can have peace of mind that it is produced without toxic pesticides or herbicides. So I think I'm gonna take that and having no pesticides or herbicides over it being in a glass bottle. So give and take, but I'd rather not have pesticides in my molasses. Next, I got some cottage cheese and yogurt. So this is the Nancy's organic probiotic cottage cheese and yogurt. I love both of these. I just wanted some. I didn't get these in bulk, just enough for me to eat and enjoy before they expire. And so I didn't have to drive all the way to the organic grocery store to get them. Next, which is my big bulk buy of this Azure haul, is the Portlandia Worcestershire sauce. So I really love Portlandia ketchup. They make quality products. So I use a lot of Worcestershire in my kitchen for different recipes. And when you have a recipe that calls for Worcestershire and you don't have Worcestershire, it is a pain. So I thought it would be a good idea to bulk up and I especially love this brand, so it made sense to me. I got 12 of these bottles and I'm really excited to use these. So that is it for my Azure haul, but I got these lights at a local hardware store. These are gonna be for my seed starting. So these are basic shop lights. They're LED, 3000 lumens. What I love about them is they already have the chains that I can attach to my seed growing shelf, which I will be setting up this week. So they are a real low, no hassle, type of light for seed starting, which is exactly what I want. You do, you do not need those fancy pantsy seed starting lights that cost like a million dollars. There will be like whole sections at the hardware store for grow lights. Literally, if you just get basic shop lights, you will have to bring them closer down to the seeds. Whereas the seed starting lights, you can keep them higher depending on what kind of lights they have, but you can literally get the basic lights for cheap and use them to start seeds. You do not need anything fancy. You don't need to go, <laughs> you don't have to go out and be buying something crazy for something as simple as seed starting, which I love to just keep things simple like our ancestors did it. And I don't think they had any fancy pantsy $200 grow lights. Not that I'm opposed, you do you, but these were great. So I got eight of these and I believe they're right around $18, but what's so great about these, these are going to last for an extremely long time, many, many seasons. So it was a one-time investment, and then we are going to be set for our seed starting. I had some lights pre before my move. I didn't do any seed starting last year, but I did seed starting the year before. They got busted up in the move. Actually, quite a few things got busted up in the move, but so that is why I am re-getting shop lights. I am very happy with these. I've already taken them out to look, and I will show you the setup when that is done in another video. I'll probably take you through the setup, but this has been my haul. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I absolutely love Azure Standard and the quality of items that I get from there. That is why I continue to order from there, especially when I need things in bulk or like I wanted the yogurt and cottage cheese. And I love that brand, but I didn't want to have to drive all the way to the organic store. I could just get a local once a month drop off of it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and being here, especially doing these hauls. They're so fun. Don't do anything you don't want to do and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.